Well, it was just a few days ago that I reported about how Duffman got his head shaved in support of cancer research. In that report, I also said that Reynolds Secondary School had raised over $19,000. Well, that number has changed, and by Friday, when the Cops for Cancer's Tour de Rock arrived at the Reynolds Secondary School gym, it was announced that over $26,000 was raised for the tour. As the officers pulled into the school, the gym exploded into thunderous applause as the riders were named off, one by one. I have to say that uh, on Wednesday, when the head shavings took place, I was very impressed at the support that was given to everybody and the amount of money that was raised, but it wasn't until today, Friday, when the Cops for Cancer Tour arrived in the gym at Reynolds Secondary School, that I was fully able to appreciate the sheer magnitude of this event. This year, two people from the local news media were riding along with the tour. Ed Bain, Czech News' meteorologist, who also doubles as a local disc jockey, as well as Jack Knox from local newspaper The Times Colonist, were along for this year's ride. However, the assembly was not just about handing money to the Tour de Rock. Several people shaved their heads today as well to support this great cause. Felicity Wilson, who is profiled in The Times Colonist newspaper in this article here, has never cut her hair in her entire life. But today, she shaved it all off to support cancer research. A few other prominent figures at Reynolds as well, such as the librarian, shaved their heads today. And this event is not only well known at Reynolds School, but it's been making the rounds of local news media as well. And of course by that, I don't mean INET. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, the Times colonist ran a feature article on Felicity Wilson, who shaved her hair. The Reynolds contribution was also profiled on local TV broadcaster CIVI, also known as A-Channel. Felicity Wilson has never cut her hair. Not in 17 years has she even had it trimmed. But a fundraiser for pediatric cancer research changed that. The Reynolds secondary student raised more than $4,000 for the Cops for Cancer Tour de Rock and in the name of charity, prepared to lop off her meter-long locks. I kind of had the year to mull it over and then realized that, you know, what is my hair worth against people dying of cancer? I'm kind of equal parts nervous and excited and, yep, I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed this morning, so bear with me with you. It's so courageous. You guys, give a round of applause. For and the applause and tears continued as friends shaved her head. While Felicity's hair is just a memory to her, her hair has a new life. It's being made into wigs for people afflicted with cancer. Now to get a good idea of what this event is like, you really have to be inside that gym with the people shaving their heads. And some people, some of the students who have shaved their heads have made sacrifices that I could never expect them to make. Once again, over $26,000 raised at this event by Reynolds Secondary School alone. At this rate, the Cops for Cancer Tour de Rock will have reached their goal of $10 million in 10 years in no time at all. And I encourage everyone to contribute to this worthy cause. For INET, this is Dr. Dude, reporting.